get the uh... So still um you have to cut you have to come back here when you have the, the flame power up at the very end of the level. You're fucking with me. Yeah, but you have to do it before the time runs out. Oh that's right. You know, you're right. But the level the level's actually really small, it just looks big until you get outside. Oh no, once you get outside that's when it becomes spacious. You know what level I'm not looking forward to in the in the third game? Mm. There's two. Mm. Um, Enchanted Towers. Actually, not so not so much now because now there's the gem finder, but because there's a gem finder automatically. Yeah, but, but, but I hate I hate being fucking the penguin and trying to find all of the ones. Flying what's around. nice now is the missiles auto. Their their homing yeah, now their they're... homing is a lot better than they were like in the original game. They kind of homed in on the original game, but you had to be a certain distance. Now they just lock onto whatever goes in. But the other level I am most definitely not looking forward to is, uh, fuck, I think I have to make one up. Lost Fleet, I'm not a fan of that one either. <laughs> Specifically, it's the, it's <laughs> the... <laughs> That's my reaction to Lost Fleet remix. <laughs> Specifically, it's the, uh, <laughs> it's the skateboarding level. That level is so annoying. Yeah, why I don't 100% like it, because I fucking hate the skateboarding controls. It's not that bad, though. The racing is... Like, so extra. I can 100% that, that, that game pretty easily. <laughs> I mean, it is my favorite video game ever. So, of course, I can 100%. I can have, like, full conversations and play Kingdom Hearts uh, Chain of Memories. Oh, God. I you, know why, you know why I think I have a hard time with Chain of Memories? Chain of Memories has strategy, and I'm really bad at strategy games because I don't have enough forethought in strategy games. Because those ones you're only given a limited deck, so once that deck runs out, you're fucked. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's how it goes. Yeah. And so that's where I struggle with the game, specifically that aspect. Yo, my man Spiral had them glossy eyes. I don't know anybody else that's beaten it, so that makes me special. Chain Memories? Yeah. I think you're the only person that's beaten it, other than like video game YouTubers, like some Johnny, but... Those are people that are doing it to review it. You're doing it because you enjoy playing it. Well, my favorite is still King Mars 2. I can definitely say I like the worlds in 2 more than 1 and 3. But I did like the Toy Story 3 worlds. Yeah, that, no, that one was just fun. Like, the whole mech fights, Ugh. those were fun. You ever see the PewDiePie video of him talking about Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody who plays Kingdom Hearts doesn't yeah, well, fucking the, stop talking it's about the, it. It's the fake gamers. Oh, you guys played Slender, the blue truck, and the red truck? You guys play? <laughs> he goes, oh, you know Kingdom Hearts is their favorite game? He goes, he's a real gamer because people who say Kingdom Hearts is their favorite game won't shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, that's kind of true. No, I don't talk about it all the time. I no, I have self-control. I display it everywhere, so it talks for me. So anyway, I have the cock and ball torture nobody symbol on my tattoos. Oh, Victor and I got matching tattoos. Yeah, Victor right here. Yeah, but I finally got one to match yours. Yeah, it's super cool. You guys gotta come to our apartment and check it out. Yeah, yeah. our address is... 155 Zero Street in Antarctica. I do like this part of the level. I, I, the more that I've played this game specifically, the more I've learned to and actually enjoy number two. Yeah, so, like, my new order of the games now are 3 two, one. Now, I have a hard time playing the first game now just because I'm, like, so sick of playing it all the time. But the completionist in me is, like, I can't fucking play this game without beating the first one first. So I, I get rid of the first one, the first game, then I play the second one, and then the third game's, like, a treat for me. Uh, you know how you guys can, like, sit and play the other games for, like, hours at a time? Yeah, perfect. I'm like that with Spyro Three. Like, like I could sit down and beat, do I could sit down and beat the whole game in a sitting because I love the game so much. It's just my ADD. Like once I start, I can't stop. That's just the way I am. Once I start, I have a hard time continuing because I have the attention span of a goldfish, apparently. Well, you know what? I, you know what? I, you know what I was doing for a while? I would get off work. Unless I had the day off, I'd get off work. Right. Pack a bowl. I play Animal Crossing, and then I put on voice notes. And I would play it through twice, and then I would stop playing. That's about an hour, it's about an hour and a half. It's about an hour and a half of playing. And I'd listen to voice notes twice through. I mean, I don't know, there's just like a certain goal that I always set for myself, and sometimes it's just that drastic where I just want to beat it. I get it. 
Like, I wanted to beat Lalo Noir, be- but I'm like, I can't do it. What, 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 see Craig to play what stopped me from continuing L.A. Noir was I didn't like the interrogation. I love everything else about the game. It's, it's I'm just really not a fan. It's fucking hard. And I just have a hard time paying attention. And I have such a hard time reading facial cues. I don't have autism. I'm just... <laughs> I just... The game is old, and the facial cues are fucking subtle. Except for the one old man that's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, they all, like, don't... They don't make sense. Like, they do the same thing. They yeah. all do the same thing, and it's like... Yeah, they, you're they, supposed they... to hear the word inflections, and I'm like, what do you mean? Am I just stupid? They, but they, they really want you to get, like, as much um, evidence as possible, so then you wouldn't have to worry about the facial cues. You just have to, like, just listen to what they say, yeah. and then you'll be like... And all the, uh, no. all yeah, the fucking, all I get it. critiques say that the facial cues is the easiest thing, and I'm like, I guess I'm just not a good game. I'm like, maybe I'm not good at reading <laughs> signs, because <laughs> I'm good. garbage at reading the faces. Yeah. And that's honestly what stopped me. I think I got to Homicide, and I just stopped, because I was like, this is too fucking hard. It's too difficult. And it makes it so much harder, like, when you get... The end of it. And that's the worst part too is the homicide cases are like the most fun. Yeah, because they're like, the most involved. That's like, when you get the most compelling evidence. You get the darkest storylines. Yeah, it, it's like it's smaller for the Ellen Noir plot. Yeah, but it's, but it's the most fun stuff. But it's really like, interesting. For example, to take the whole uh, the whole case where you're on the movie set. That's so much fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you're like when you're chasing the dude and the movie set's like crumbling apart. That's like one of my favorite missions in the game. But it, but just like the, but just like the, the, the getting there is the worst part. And I don't like driving either. I like the auto drive. That was kind of nice. There's an auto drive. There is an auto drive. Yeah. I didn't uh, know that. I've been driving because like a because the driving the affects time. your score. So if yeah. you have auto drive, it just does it for you. But it's so fun running over like no. tree poles. And That's my problem too. My my morals doesn't allow me to do stuff like that for fun. And I think that's why I don't enjoy sandbox games like UTA and stuff, because I don't enjoy doing things like that, because I feel bad. But they're not real. I know, but I still feel bad. <laughs> I still feel bad. Again. Well, like in Far Cry 5, we... I still feel bad because the game's based in reality. Like, Far Cry 4 and 5... Far Cry 4, I spent a majority of my time stealthily playing the game. Yeah. I played... I think the first time I played 4, I played a majority of that game in stealth. I was so patient with that game. After the 20th time playing 5, I just say, fuck it, I'm going to throw satchels, shovels, and punch everyone. Well, yeah, I mean, once you play a game a certain amount of time... That isn't Far Cry 5 that you played. Or Sonic Unleashed. Wait, what's up? Or no. This is the first game that I've seen that Joe's played that isn't Far Cry 5 or Sonic Unleashed. I know, this is the first game that I've played. That's weaker of all time. Oh, 100% level <laughs> of all time. I think this is the first game that I've been playing... Actually, no, it isn't. <laughs> I was yeah, say... willingly, I think... Those are just the two games I do. Yeah, because like my big games I've been playing right now, Horizon Zero Dawn. I've been playing through that again. Minecraft. Horizon Zero Dawn, CTR, Nitro Fueled, and Animal Crossing. But only because Josh plays it, so I play Animal Crossing with him. I enjoy the game, though. It's really fun. It's relaxing. Especially like when you're high, it's just fun because there's no real goal. So you're just wandering around. You can fish and... Yeah, I really do think you guys should play Horizon. I know the control is confusing, but... Yeah, I said that about I said that about room. Minecraft and I said it's right there behind you. It's in it's different, no, 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 though. turn around. Right there. That game is so much more intricate no. than Minecraft. Oh, I was gonna say Far Cry Five. That game is pretty. Yeah, it's it's pretty involved. That, that game is hella involved, and I had a great time in the game. Like what I like about Horizon is you don't have guns. It's just a boat. It's just bows and arrows. Bombs, slings, and it's scary though. Spe- but that's what makes it fun. It's so scary. Everything's big. The game's stealth. It's all about stealth. You yeah. just have to go into the game knowing what you're doing. Like I can play a majority of the game without using a single arrow because I know how to evade really well and attack. I can use a sniper. I don't think oh. you guys are giving the game enough credit to really be like, I don't like it. Okay, I was just... Okay, I played, like, a good, like, four hours of it, and then I just said... I really enjoyed it the first time I... I... Because I like the concept of it. I think that's why. Because I found the, the world building really cool. That's why I like the game. The game's really cinematic, and it just... It just... Appe- like, I, like the, the world building is so good in the game. Because the game doesn't really give you a lot at the beginning, so once you 
talk to the NPCs and stuff, it makes the game world so much more involved. Right. Because there's so much lore in the game without there being anything. I haven't really hit anything with the... With yeah, the, the game, the, the, the first tutorial world, Mother's Cradle, is not that good. Once you get out of the cradle and you're in the real world, the game gets so much fun. Because you have access to the entire world. You can go anywhere you want. They just recommend you start where they want you to start. And what I like to do is they give you a main mission, but you take every quest along the way. And you level up quicker that way. You get you get more weapons that way. I need to start doing that. I always just go for the main campaign. Yeah, so like there's the main quest, but you'll see like little green exclamation marks. You'll get like errands to run it's fun yeah doing real life shit in a video game and especially the full version the one that Joe has the complete version it has the frozen wilds which is like a whole Antarctica yeah. and that one is so fucking fun but in order to get to that you have to be a level 30 and get to level 2 30. yeah I'm level 28 and I'm not even on the second mission so you guys joining me in the quest of beating all your own games yeah, yeah I, tried to do, I tried to do that with Eleanor Noir first and then I was like fuck it Thank <laughs> you.